Okay, so this is um, what Xian Xi Lian Hui. Is that right? Hi, it's Neil again. We've gone between the first and second factory today. Now, the, the first factory visit this morning was so interesting because it was uh, a startup less than two years ago by the owner who once worked for a smartphone company and also a video production company and he's more in design so he's a, he left that and actually gone and started up his own factory. This factory is very interesting because they had five production lines and they were doing about 1,000 smartwatches a day, you know the uh, smartwatch like the Fitbit or the uh, Apple Watch, well this is very similar but for one quarter of the price, okay, their highest, their best product is 260 yuan so you can see that's much cheaper than the average uh, high-end watch that you buy in the US market or Australian market or other belt markets. So it's very interesting that uh, most of their sales were domestic, 70% of sales, and their sales from the US and Europe were actually less than what it had been in the past. And so their mo main customers now from overseas are coming from Spain and Southeast Asia. What was very interesting about the production was to see that they had total separation of the receiving goods room, the quality control room, and also the returns room, goods returns room. And what was very interesting was that the goods returns was really focused on the raw material returns or the actual input goods return, not the output. So I thought that was very nice that they had that set up because often that is a very important sign of good quality control or management of the production process, especially the, from a quality standpoint. All right, so if you have good quality going in, it's just likely going to bad quality at the other end after assembly is completed. The, what was another interesting thing was asked them about compliance. They have CE and FCC. They didn't have FCC, and one of the reasons was that they found it was too expensive. And so I'm thinking that if you are buying for a US market, you do have to ship, buy from suppliers that have FCC accreditation. Otherwise, you run the risk of customs in the US seizing your goods and actually fining you. Now, if it's just a small shipment, you're going to get away with that. But over time, as your shipments grow, it's very important to have a supplier that have FCC certification. So that's on the buyer, ultimately, if the supplier doesn't have it. But their reason for not having it was it was just too expensive for the size of the market that they had in terms of sales to the US. And finally, the number one challenge, of course, as a challenge for a lot of factories in China now, and that is sales. And they're looking at the domestic sales at 70%. They're seeing more growth there at the moment. And they're also selling through Weibo and other online marketplaces in China. So there you have it. That's the uh, smartwatch factory that we've just been to. And now we're going off to a gifts manufacturer where they actually make anything little that few people value to buy in a soup, to buy in a shop. But of course, your eyes light up when you actually are giving it to you through a banquet or as a present or some other um, company function. Okay, so we'll catch you in the next factory. And here's Neil signing off from Sinjin, halfway between Factory 1 and Factory 2.